So there seemed to be like a battle, I don't know what to call it, between married and single women. And I thought I should weigh in on the topic as a married woman, of course. So first of all, I'll start by saying that marriage is a choice. Like really, if you want to marry, you get married. If you don't want to get married, it's fine. You not getting married is not affecting me in any way. It doesn't doesn't make me insecure about choosing to get married just the same way me choosing to be married shouldn't make you feel insecure about your choice to not get married but we see a lot of single women i'm not making this video to bash anybody but i see a lot of single women that say things like married women are unhappy and they're pretending to be happy because they don't want you to know what they're going through or like misery loves company and also single women so married women say single women are not happy because they get lonely or whatever but i believe that you can be single and be happy and i believe that you can also be married and be happy but that's not um dispute i mean that's not um how i say we should also acknowledge that there are people that are in marriages that are very horrible people are in bad marriages and we should also acknowledge that fact but it doesn't mean that everybody that is married is unhappy or everyone that is married are unhappy in their marriages so today we're going to talk about how i don't know there's no particular direction this is going because i just wrote some things that i feel like i should cover so if you're new to my channel my name is bridget welcome to my channel and if you have been watching for a while thanks for being here again today so let's get into this so Marriage, just like any other relationship, even like your regular friendship, you have issues once in a while. There are times that you don't disagree with your friend and I don't know, you talk about it, you maybe you fight about it and then you make up at some point. Marriage has its issues. Marriage is not, to me, marriage is any different from when we were dating. The only thing is that, oh, now we said we want to be together and we don't want to be apart and we made it official so it's legal that we we made it legal, <laughs> is that the right way to put it? That we want to be together, we're committed to each other. And you can be in a long-term relationship and not do that. And it's fine to, it doesn't change anything, doesn't move me, doesn't affect how me or the next person lives their life. So, I hope my mic is on, Jeez. Okay. So, marriage has issues like every normal relationship, but because the marriage is having... Or because you have one or two disagreements it doesn't mean the marriage is, is falling apart because some people are like oh marriage is hard or marriage is work so because of that people that are in it are pretending that they are happy marriage has problems just the way you're having problems with your boyfriend or your girlfriend right now so i don't know <laughs> you guys work it out that's just the same way people work out things in their marriages so also i want to point out that I think I said at the beginning, like my choice shouldn't make you feel insecure in yours. Because I feel that that's that's what I see about a lot of people. Some people that have been married that are now divorced. They'll be like, oh, marriage is bad. My marriage was very, very bad. I'm now divorced. So I don't encourage anybody to get married. But there are so many things that that happened in that marriage that led to the divorce. You don't have to get married really, but I'm and I'm not forcing it down your throat that you should get married. But also let's um no, I'm, I'm forgetting what i was talking about yeah so just the same way if you choose to be single it's your choice and really doesn't make me feel insecure insecure about choosing to be married so that's that then another thing that we should point that we should um talk about is that so people get married to rubbish partners you know that this person is rubbish but you went ahead and you married them because oh, when, when you met the person, you're thinking about, oh, how cute we'll look. Oh, we'll be the celebrity couple. Like some ladies are called into, what's his name? Into Kevin Samuel's show. Oh, I want to marry this rich person. I want to marry this guy. And then we'll be this power couple and what, what, what. And that's all they're thinking about. They're not thinking about, oh, I want to marry a good person. I want to marry a kind person. And, <laughs> and when you focus on things that are not important like that, that's when you end up with the horrible part because we are thinking about the wedding. Oh, I want to have this beautiful fairy tale wedding. 
I like I love beautiful weddings, but I'm not crazy about weddings because it's just a ceremony. I believe more in the friendship, I believe more in the connection, I believe more in the marriage. So when you are focused on how it looks, because I see a lot of people get carried away by how it looks, you're focused on how it looks or how we'll have this beautiful marriage or we'll be this beautiful couple that everybody wants to be and everybody wants to be friends with and everything. When you when you focus on that, you get carried away and you miss things that you actually want in a partner, maybe like a partner that does house chores with you. Like since I got married, I, I've not done laundry maybe once in a while. But for the for the past maybe a whole year or two years, or maybe the whole time we've been married even. And maybe I've done laundry only twice or thrice. So those those are things that I see that I feel like are important in marriage. A partner that knows that we are doing chores together. This is not this person's job. Like I cook, I do most of the cooking. My husband cooks once in a while. But I do most of the cooking. Well, he does the laundry, he does the grocery shopping. So when you think about a partner, those are things that you think about. Oh, how do we share chores? How how good is this person? Can I go out and and I'll be sure and find that my kids are with their dad and they are okay? Those are things that I think about. And when I was dating earlier, I I never thought of I, I was scared of marriage. Let me put it that way. I was scared of marriage because I meet guys and they will talk about marriage and they'll be like, oh, a wife is supposed to do this, this, this. A wife is supposed to cook this, 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 this. A wife is supposed to cook every day. Oh, I can't eat poundo. That's Nigerian food. I can't eat poundo. My wife has to cook the yam and pound the yam in a mortar. That's the only way I'll eat it. I'm like, oh, this is, this is scary. And then you have some guys that will be like, oh, my family is big. If you want to marry me, you have to respect everybody in my family. I'm not saying that I shouldn't respect your partner's family, but they made this like, like you have to worship everybody. Like they will not stand up for you, of which is still happening in marriages. That the, the husband's family is giving the wife lots of trouble and the guy is not fighting for his wife or the wife's family is giving the husband lots of trouble and the wife is not fighting for her husband. So it made me really scared of marriage. I'm like, God, I'm not sure I really want to do this thing and also this um this whole mother-in-law issue like oh mother-in-laws are horrible mother-in-laws will make your life miserable and everything and i told myself that of course i'm a likable person mother-in-law <laughs> she has just like me like and luckily for me i met someone that that had my back someone that told his family that this is who he wants to be with and everybody needs to get used to it and my mother-in-law is like the best mother-in-law that ever existed. I don't know. Yes, there were some issues at the beginning because it's like, oh, you're marrying my son and what's what. But aside from that, we became very close. Like, I really, really loved her. And we talked and everything. And we, like, she she was in touch with her grandkids, like, every now and then because we, we, we got close. So those are things that you should think about when you want to marry somebody. You just don't jump and say oh he's a doctor and he earns this this amount of money and we're going to live in this this place i'm going to do this 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 and you know deep in your heart there is a cheat you know deep in your heart that he's not going to help with chores you know deep in your heart that he that he's not going to be there for you when you need somebody to talk to like somebody to be your friend but that facade, like, oh, how we look to everybody is more important to you. That's why some of us end up in horrible marriages. And that's and those are the things that single women hear about over and over. And then they think that all of us that are married are, <laughs> are suffering and pretending that we're happy when we're not happy. So another thing that I can say is, you don't have to rush into marriage. Like me, I got married in my early 30s. I was 31 when I got married. Yeah, I had a, uh, and I didn't do my marriage the way everybody does it. Like, oh, you have to get married first and then you have kids. So it wasn't planned. I had a kid first and then we got married after. And I'm not saying everybody has to do it the way I did it. And even if some people try to make me feel insecure because I had a kid before I got married, I, I shoved that thing, I shoved it back to them, like, please, take several seats. Everybody's life is not the same. So, I got married in my 30s, and I'm happy right now. I'm 41, and 
I don't know. I'm living. I'm living my life. So don't rush into marriage. Like your early twenties, you should be enjoying your life. Like, but if that's when you find the person that you believe is right for you to marry, you can go ahead and marry. But it 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 shouldn't be something that you should be thinking about. Like, oh, this is the ultimate. This is the ultimate. If you want it, it's fine. If you don't want it, it's also fine. So, but don't rush into it. It's good to take your time because if I if I had rushed into it, maybe I would have forced myself on somebody to marry me and right now, and now I'll be miserable. Maybe the marriage will be over by now. But I took my time. A lot, some of some some people say, oh, if you don't get married in your twenties, you'll never get married anymore, and you're just that marriage is not marriage. Is it's um what did she say? She said if you don't get married in your twenties, the only thing that you do is boyfriend and girlfriend so <laughs> i don't really if, if that's what it is maybe i'm happy my husband is my boyfriend right because what's the difference so don't rush into it that's what i'll say and yeah um sorry <laughs> so another thing that we should talk about is that single women are always they always look at married women like oh you're you are now old or something like because you are married me i'm single i'm still in the market i'm still hot i'm everywhere everywhere but you you're married you're now i don't know you're not you're not enough anymore but my problem is my question is okay i'm married i'm now off the market and i'm not nobody's looking at me anymore then you you're single okay so that means when you get married so nobody's looking at you anymore and like where does it stop no, that part didn't come out well. So, this whole thing is fine enough. It's not just single women and married women. It's also married women and married women, and single women and single women. Because sometimes, my um, working wives, <laughs> working wives feel their best than, better than stay-at-home wives. Like, oh, I go out there and I bring in the bread. The stay-at-home wife, oh, you're just there doing laundry, you're just cooking, and you're a house help, and. It goes on and on. And sometimes maybe maybe a working woman and then you decide to get married and then you stop working and all that. Those your friends, those your single friends, stop being your stop being close to you. Because it happens too. So let's not act like it doesn't happen. Or or you meet a friend that you've not seen for years and you guys catch up and they're like, oh, so what do you do now? Oh, I'm married, I have kids. You're like, oh, I work in so and so place. And before you know, they don't want to connect with you. Or you just meet someone, just a new person, and you guys are talking. And maybe because they're into career and all that, all that. And then you, next thing you're, you're talking, they don't want to talk to you anymore because they feel like, oh, I'm a PhD, I'm up here. And you are just, you're just a mother. Like, being a wife or being a mother is rubbish. It doesn't make sense. So women do it to, married women do it to each other. Single women do it to married women. Everybody just feels like married women are at the bottom of the barrel and sometimes some married women feel like they are at the top of the the hierarchy whatever and single women at the bottom this whole thing doesn't make any sense let everybody just feel comfortable in the choices that they make in their lives like just just feel comfortable if you're insecure about it then you maybe you're not choosing what is good for you and another thing I wanted to talk about the fact that when I got married had people that that say things like oh because you didn't get married in church your marriage is not blessed like <laughs> i had i had some that looked down on my ring like the ring is is um how let's say is the source or the ring should be the source of your happiness like if you don't have that big ring then you your, your marriage is doomed because oh he'd not go out of his way to get into debt to get to this ring so because of that your marriage is doomed or you didn't have this fancy wedding and invite everybody i just i went to registry what what you, what you guys call um what's it called i don't know the courthouse i went we went to the courthouse we we said our vows we signed the papers and then we went home we had lunch with our friends <laughs> yes that's what we did and i'm not i'm not ashamed of it when I'm ready, we're going to have a ceremony. It's a ceremony. I'm going to invite people that I love to come there and celebrate with us. But until then, I am married, and it's, it does, doesn't change anything. 
So this fascination with, oh, the size of that rock, that's the reason why some women say yes. Oh, he gave me this ring, this big rock. Or, oh, we have, we have this beautiful wedding on an island. Yes, weddings are beautiful. I love weddings. But let's just agree that it's a ceremony. It's just a freaking ceremony. It doesn't guarantee a happy marriage. So I had a friend that looked down on my ring then and she looked at it like, mm. <laughs> you know when somebody is happy for you and you know when, when they're doing rubbish. And she looked at my ring like, mm. And then the same person went on to tell me, oh, because you've not had, you've, you've not, you did not get married in the church, but you have to get married in the church, so your marriage will be blessed. I'm not crazy about church wedding. I'm not going to have a church wedding. Yes, seriously, I'm not interested in having a church wedding. And then, um, what else? Yeah, I said because I've not had the traditional wedding as well, like the one in my culture that my family has not blessed me, so my marriage is still not blessed. Like wow, so people are telling me how my marriage can be blessed, how my marriage can be blessed. So anyway, okay, so that's all I have to say for this video. Well, this video is more like a rant and <laughs> I hope you pick something from it because I don't know, I just really want to talk about it and I've gotten it off my chest. Alright, thanks for watching. My name is Bray and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.